guys! Welcome to another episode of my coding diary! Last week was a disaster. I had a very tough time understanding the lecture and solving the problems. Thanks to JK, I finished almost everything. I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. Okay, as you can see, week 3 intro to Python, I finished almost everything except for listening to a lecture about expressions. I did do half of it, but I kind of fell asleep because I couldn't focus, I couldn't concentrate because I didn't understand anything. But now, now, finally, I get it. So yeah, today's video is going to be about me solving week 3 step by step. So yeah, let's begin! Um, let me just click and see what it is. Oh, this one's easy. I'll explain. So now, the difference with Python, mm. now we have something called a variable. So do, in math, do you remember what a variable is? I didn't learn math after graduating elementary school, so no. <laughs> Music doesn't include math. Oh, so you didn't study in middle or high school? Mm-mm. Okay, um, well, you know that in like math, we could have like A plus B equals five? Mm-hmm. Wait, it's like algebra. Yeah, it's like algebra, so yeah. And, and then, then this will appear here. So let's try to run it to see if it's correct. No. Oh. So it's simple, right? Mm -hmm. So so it's not that hard, right? Mm -hmm. so let's look at the next one. Okay. Okay, copy paste. Yeah. So now what do we need to prompt? Prompt basically is another word for question. What's your name? Yeah, so let's try to ask it what is your name? Is the question mark? So now it says, what is your name? And now try to write Yeji. Okay, try to write Yeji. Okay, enter. Yeah. Hello? What does it say? Yeah, what does it say for print? No, no, but what is it? You have to know the definition of print, right? So what what does print do? It prints out, hello? Yeah, it, it says it writes to the console. So go to uh, your program. And let's try to print something. What What do you want to print? Let's just try to print a string called Yeji. So let's try that. Oh! <laughs> no, you can do it. It's, it's hard. Oh. So from, let's from the top. So now you know what a variable is, right? Variable is just like a... Let's think of it as an empty container. Mm. It's like a cup or like a bowl. Mm -hmm. And you could fill it with anything. Okay. And later... Like uh, that's a string, remember? So you could fill it with a string, right? It's like a it's like a bowl, and you could fill it with like a string. You could fill it with some numbers. Okay. You could fill it with an equation, anything. But what's the container for that? What's the variable for that? Result. Result. So let's try plus result. Do I write plus? Yeah, let's try a plus. Keep going. You try it. I'm not here to do it for you, I'm here to teach you, right? So, so let's see if... Don't, don't run. So what's going on right now? Do you understand everything? What, tell me what you don't understand. Um... I think I have to listen to the lecture again. No, no, but... Yeah, and then press enter, and then it says hello Carol, right? Uh -huh. So print tab the string plus the variable. Plus result, right? Mm -hmm. String plus yeah so that's what shows there do you get it now oh okay now you understand um like 60 percent. it's better than nothing okay do you want to understand the another 10 percent? ask me a question no i want to try it on my own i, 60 to 70. I get it but it's always it, it's always the thing it's always the thing it's it's the same thing with carol i get it I got it inside here, but it won't come out. Good morning, everyone. It is 8.55 a.m. and I have my section in five minutes. Am I the only one here? Yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> We're early today. 
usually we will join like at the last minute. Oh really? I thought I was late. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming on time slash early. Ah, uh, no problem. I, I actually had to leave early last week, so I just wanted to come early. So think of a variable as like, so variable or containers, right? You can have many, many containers, but the name is specific to each container. For example, you can have a container with liquid, with solid, with gas. So those are different types of variable. Yes, earthquake, earthquake, all right. So we need to get the input from the user, which is the earthquake. Well, that should be all for today's section. Thank you so much for your participation today. The chat was awesome. And um, I'll see you next week, all right? <sighs> okay, that was intense. That was intense. But I did it. Well, we did it end of today's section it was awesome i love how she explains all these things and how she tries to communicate with us i think i get um what i learned today about python finally um i took some notes um i'll sh share that on the screen i think i finally get what all of this means but now i really have to try solving problems to just really know how to use them well Ah, uh, it feels so good right now because I was at this I was at this moment where I felt like I was lacking all this process and I couldn't really absorb anything. Yesterday I was listening to a lecture and I was like, what in the world is going on right here? And I couldn't focus at all. Having a section is a really good um, part in this program, in this whole program. So. Yeah, so that's your question. 예, 캐럴 했었던 거랑 이거 했던 거랑 그냥 뭔가 비슷한 게 없는 것 같아서 I don't know how to type so the it thing is, with Carol, mm. it was basically just telling this robot like it, it had like a few different moves it can make mm. but now we just have more rules mm -hmm. and we have no robot mm -hmm. so yeah, let's look at multiply two numbers how do we prompt the user to enter the first number? number? first, let's just get the user input Okay. How do we do that? This is like this. Yeah. So I can just copy paste this like that. Yeah. yeah. And but then... how do we convert that whole thing, that whole input into an integer? And then one at the end. And then on the left side of the parentheses oh. next to input, write int. Oh. And then now we do the same thing for int two, right? Uh-huh. Number two. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing, but you have to wrap it just like before. Calculate the value of multiplying two numbers. And okay. now you have num one and num two. Mm -hmm. So how do you multiply the two numbers? Where are the two numbers right now? So what does input do? I think maybe you're a little confused on what input does. See, look at uh, step number two. It reads the input. So that's what input does. And then what's the second part of that sentence? Convert it to an integer. You get the input becomes an integer. And then that becomes is put a number into one. The cup of number one. Uh -huh. That's just put into number one. Oh, okay. I get it now. You get it? Yeah. There's just many layers. Yeah. So that's the hard part. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Like it goes like whoop, whoop, and whoop. But now, if we're trying to multiply the two numbers the user the user inputted, mm -hmm. how do we do that? Like, what are those two numbers? I remember he him using this. Yeah, so that's the multiply. But what do we multiply together? Num one and num two. Yeah, great. But, but let's store that in a new variable called result. Show me how to do that. Nice! Okay, nice. And now let's just print result. So let's try to print out result. And then inside the parentheses, you could just do result, yeah. You don't have to make it a string, yeah. And let's try to run that. Let's enter, what's your favorite number? Okay, and then press enter. 2 or 10 or something. 
and then and it's going to show me the um, the what result. Is it? Yeah, yeah. What is the result? Forty-four. Forty-four. Let's let's see if it works. Dun dun dun! <laughs> it worked. Okay, nice. See, this is what I didn't get. How to write this what? down? You didn't understand what input was. I think that was a big problem. Mm. Now I get this, is this, and this, and that. It was hard. I couldn't even. I didn't even have the courage to click on any um, assignments. I think with computer science, you, you just need to have a, the courage to just try random shit, and mm -hmm. it's gonna be wrong a lot of the time. But it might be right sometimes. Okay. Ah, the one I got there. Oh, it was so stressful. Ah, for the past few days, I was in extreme stress because I had this deadline going on. <laughs> but I'm glad you're taking it so seriously. Yeah, that's why I, I was like, I, my mom was like, hey, what do you want to do today? It's like, I have to do coding. <laughs> <laughs> so we can see that there are seven questions about introduction to Python. So I'm gonna click on add two numbers. Write Python program that takes two integers inputs from the users and calculate their sum. The program should perform the following task. Prompt the user to enter the first number. Read the input and convert it to an integer. Prompt the user to enter the second number. Okay, so this mainly um, wrote down everything we need. But now, as you can see, read the input and convert it into an integer. So to put an int, that. Also, I have to put it in an integer. I hope I'm right. Let's run it first. First number, okay, 22. Second number, oh, Jake is calling, three. Let me run this. I just had a quick call with JK. Um, let me run this. I'm gonna say 33, 32, 66. Oh. oh, I thought it was multiplying, but yeah, it worked. Yay, onwards. Boo, 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 boo. I didn't do the this thing. Okay, guys, I've I've tried solving four um, examples. It went pretty well. Okay, I'm going to do my last lesson. Lessons of expressions. Sixty minutes. Let's go. That something new is our friend, the constant. So all the letters are capitalized, separated by underscores, though for the words. And at this point, you are rocking it, my friends, because you have now gotten a bunch of Python, you've gotten expressions, you've gotten constants, you've gotten random numbers, and we've put it all together in this much bigger program. Okay, so for the expression lecture, so yeah, I downloaded the slides through my iPad and I was just looking through all the things I learned. Um, I don't really get the random part yet. So I think I have to study that a bit more. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the hardest part so far. Okay, guys, that is the end of week three. Okay, so my comment section is always open, so please leave um, whatever you want to ask. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the next video. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are a huge support. Thank you so much. Bye!